Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of your program when I talk to the camera with me Kona Sise. As we don't the bring on our stories we get for the with increase in price of different commodities than the saloon. The one we get for the with commodities then we with the import from other countries then and with local content commodities we na yaso with the make a saloon. Today we decide for Kanwaka to the Minister of Trade and Industry we na Dr. Edward Ingasandi. So that ego give it your feedback on the stories I am way we don't they do and also so that ego give respond to different different questions where people them when I trade as them don't they ask when it gets for with in, increase in price in cement in rest and other commodities where people they wonder why increase in price for happen to them. They will listen to them as it give you feedback and response to the questions there. Hello to you, sir, and welcome to this interview. Mina Kona Sisi from Sierra Network Press. Do please introduce yourself. Thank you, Mina, Dr. Edward Hinga Sandy, the Minister of Trade and Industry. You go, please do tell me when you go out there, will you listen to different traders then and waiting, you know, the common man get for talk about prices for different commodities in Sierra Leone? They normally can do comparison with imported and also with local content in a way we they make in a salon. So give a clear uh, um, clarification about the difference between them two and the when you get for the week prices. Well, actually, both of the things that we use in Sierra Leone and other countries in the commod. I mean, take, for example, all we we call essential commodities. Rice. We know they produce enough for make we eat. We get for import them from other countries then. Rice no more every year we import a value of over two hundred and forty million dollars. Take for instance petroleum product when they produce them. Um drugs when they produce them. Um cement, iron rods. All the one in the we are the more we consume in this country, we need to produce them all. And which recently they happen, we actually you they attribute to COVID. Now that some of them commodities there, in as much as them price and not change. At the global market, but the freight, then at the cost of shipment of them products there for Canada Salon here, it don't increase. And when that happens, and they translate directly to increase in prices of their essential commodities there. I just they check through waiting and waiting and costs for bring cam cement from Turkey. Um before COVID, for bring cam one metric ton from Turkey, about twenty dollars. Today, for bring a one metric ton from Turkey, in the between sixty six to seventy dollars. So if you don't if the freight no more don't go up this high, you definitely go expect say if person go buy cement from Turkey come with them, the price go increase. And when you check some of the things some way the one them way they import the product there, we then get for pay as charges. You realize say uh, when you add all of the thing in there, now it really don't make the commodities price don't go up. And this not a salon no more, yes, yeah. And they happen in uh, different different countries. And they happen uh, with neighboring country in uh, Guinea, and they happen in uh, Liberia, and they happen in uh, Senegal, and they happen in uh, Ivory Coast. But waiting really most times where people can attribute them price increase to now that oh well the Ministry of Trade not they do enough. For control price, we they control the price. We get what we call price monitoring. We get we trade monitors them. We they go out there they check. But the truth is, honestly, with the way the freights then don't go, the price then just they and people are not able to countenance where the price don't move from like seventy thousand and go eighty thousand. Then we just we say, oh well, not where the price control not there. Within most people they expect not that. We for always they fix the price. Then. Even when then thing and the way they drive the price then they go up. If the price the freight today na be thirty two dollar for one metric ton of cement, it don't go up to seventy dollar. You not expect that price that, that cement price for remain that same price that we've been buying today. So I know say it's not convenient for we all. I know say not difficult moments than this for we all. But the fact is, the things and way they change them price there, where they drive the price of the essential commodities, 
in the out of we control. You don't get nothing for do with freights. If the freights don't go up, nothing way na an international variable. And just the way it don't go up na saloon, that's why it don't go up for Liberia, that's why it don't go up for Guinea, that's why it don't go up for all of the other countries. So take for instance, Trade, um, cement. We've been there, we've been there around 70,000 because the, the freight price been there down. Now the freight price don't come up to $70 for one metric ton. And the price Trade of cement, I mean, they're about $20 per metric ton. Now if you go to Turkey, in the range between forty dollars if in lose we're not in a bank, up to fifty dollars if in the inside bank. So we find yourself in that kind of situation there. And this not to salon no more they go buy from Turkey, but what a country they go buy from Turkey. If the freight and the price actually don't go up, you'd expect and say inside Salon yeah, info also go up. And when they come, although most people can say, Oh, Duty not depend on certain commodities. Now, only one commodity in this country will not get duty and then arrest. You know, also get GST. But if the freights don't go up and the rest, you'd expect say, the rest in price for go up. If you know, try, if you try for fix them, like with other countries in the fix them, then the one that they bring come, then products in there. After the one way they get sell down, they're not going to go buy more again. Because that's what the freight say, the country they can fix the price. Instead of trying to monitor the price, you the fix and say, Paupa. Even when the freight don't go up, then for still seller, that price will be seller one month ago. If you do so, you go run out of that product in the country, and the worst situation go be. Similar thing don't be in Liberia. Liberia, them they try to fix the price for us. What happen? The one way they're in the market, in down, the people then waving the bring car, they never bring car. And the worst thing will be that the rice don't shut in at the market. So when you find yourself in that kind of situation, eh, I think say, all we can do now for begin look at alternative measures. And this now in the Ministry of Trade they do. They try to engage countries the way they market there they come out. Engage businesses the way they produce. Try for see what we will do. Forget we own factory and we own country. Because the measures and then the way we really go able to see them, either through direct engagement with countries them or businesses, so that we're gonna try for see how we're gonna able to get a deal, where then we're able to reduce certain prices from now, preferentially, or we're gonna try for build our own factory then, so that we're gonna be able to begin produce some more than the way then they produce and But if freight no more for cement, for instance, it now more than even the very cost of cement, what do you go expect for this to see happen? So now the situation this way we find yourself in terrible and not good for we, we all the feel them. We all the know the pinch way it mean where them price they don't go. But this now the situation we find yourself. Government they engage with the look at what and waiting we need for do. And gradually we'll see how we we'll monitor the freights, we'll see how we we'll do the engagements there. So that we subsequently we will pull this burden. Our people then in this country yeah, and see how we will control the price. All right. When you talk about the daily living of um, citizens in a salon, you talk about waiting then they eat. And um, be it that rest go there for them, yes. But then waiting you go put for that rest for it. Um. And when you go to the market, you find out that the traders them they complain, say the goods them, the, 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 the food stuff where they buy come on offline canton. The transportation they cause the food stop in price for go up. And then they all get for do with petrol price. What you get for say about this, sir? Well, you see, so one effect they lead to something else. Petrol price don't go up. No nobody no go down now and then. In fact, if not a way as a government, would they try for look how we go able pinch pinch other side and for make we able to support within the apple with petrol, the petroleum price supposed for the above ten thousand. Because when you look at the global price, where Bokuman can they argue, say, oh, crude oil price, nah, so, so, so. But not a crude oil will they use. Now, the refined product. And when then they refine the product, the global plants are different from the price of crude oil. So if the crude point, so if the petroleum products and price don't go up on the global market, now that refined product, now they go by. So now that refined product in price, now they reflect as the pump price. So if... If you take a look at what happened, where would they sell one liter petrol for 10,000? 
You go to Guinea, you go to Senegal, you go to Ivory Coast, you go to Ghana. The equivalence of one liter, now almost 12,000 and some then they will pass. So you really see, say, we the try for do well. Even when it comes to like flour, I call now Guinea today. The flour day, now 310 Guinea franc. And the Guinea franc even strong pass away. We, we flour still there around 285. Although the price go get for go up small. Because if the freight itself don't begin go up now, if not a way we go into some agreement and we decide say, okay, more put down, more re remove GST pan flour. Sometimes by now we would almost be at the same level with, 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 with Guinea. And I believe say inside Guinea, definitely the flour price get for go up past sign there right now. And um, with the other thing them way other people in the produce, I mean like what you don't say, once the fuel price don't go up, transport price don't go up. You'd expect to see them, them price and even of the commodities and what they produce now for go up small. But waiting more can be, can be uh, when are the reality? If me, they produce pepper in a farm, then at the camp, I sell the pepper, I get for good feed me picking them. The rest within at the market don't go up because the freights don't go up. Where I camp, myself, I they add small thing for me pepper. So that at the end of the day, I sell me pepper. I will buy waiting go, will go make a feed me picking them. This is not the reality. And nobody not go tell me, say, it not happen like that one day. Today, where I can sell one, one basket uh, uh, pepper, I will buy 10 cup rest. Now, because the price of rest don't go up, if I come with that same one basket, I sell at that same price, sometimes I don't even able to get six cup rest. So what do you go do? You go put what you have to produce, so that you're able to still catch up with your responsibility, we get. So now some of the things and this, these are the dynamics where we can left out of the argument in some cases, and some other commodities and they like pepper, where some of we can even just be say, pepper for day all the time. We the pay for realize say, some season and the way they harvest pepper, some season and the way you not go able to harvest pepper, so then season and they Pepper and go shorting, and the demand for her go more than the supply. Where then kind thing and they be, you also, I mean, the one way land economics will tell you, say, once the demand they up past the supply, it can normally increase the price of the commodity. But as we move now into the dry season, where the rain don't begin cut, some pepper don't begin up, you just see the pepper price. Mr. Sebin, we had a come more upline, now, uh, 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 Matoy. Today, we had a good day, had a buy pepper 10,000 and four cup. Then two days there, then this weekend we had a commodity. I buy the pepper 4,000 euros for cup. But more to that, if we all come together, we begin farm, we begin producing things and they will eat. They will encourage people, then we will come with their agro processing thing and then small, small factory, so that the 10 way pepper boku, we will not say pepper, you know, go team up for one year and are rotting, rotting. We can able to convert that pepper, we make it into pepper, pepper, waiting, we put it inside bottle. The time where you need pepper, instead of you buy the raw pepper, you could just use that pepper you don't keep inside a bottle you use it. I think we'll get to them point then day. And when are some of the things that we don't do in some of the policy them, we don't de develop the agro-processing policy, we don't and support small, small business them with the into agro-processing for making themselves able to team up and try to improve on them business. I think so we'll get to them point then day. You go begin to see say, some of them challenges that they get to know get for the get them. When you talk about price of commodities, we don't go up, especially when they will get, will they come out from different countries. Then. One go say now because of the fact that we will not get in a salon here. What in that some of the projects that the Ministry of Trade don't put in place for see that this particular issue will be tackled? Well, um, all man no say before this term, Ministry of Trade, in fact, the way you call yourself, you know, say, you and our trade no more now will be none do. Me don't come, we say no. No, this thing not for continue so. More in our trade and industry. And the industry side, name people, all the government of the past, not been on the treat seriously. During the war, we've been getting some um, factory them before the war, but when the war came, both of them factory them the lock. We will be done the begin rebuild, we not don't put industry as a priority. But this government don't care and don't treat industry as something very, very serious. So we too don't do. Look what they tell you about the policy on agro-processing. Look what they tell you about um, what you don't try for do for, imp for review the industry policy in self -serving. So that this industry policy goes speak to 
growth of industry, some of the support will they give to other the, the investors that we want can put money per industry. We go encourage them for candy. And as I speak to you, I don't sign a number of agreements then, where they lead to um, the development of the factory then they. because we just don't recently do them. You did notice say them factory then they then they under construction and get for take some time, maybe one year before you go see them begin even produce. But I tell you, beyond that, we don't also develop the special economic zone policy. We get for encourage people then we who can then develop certain areas then into factory zones. So that you go get more people them. I mean, because in most cases when factory the one come down in a country, one question we then can ask, eh, the the thing them way we need na the na the kind zone then the in good day, electricity good day, water good day. So the special economic zone policy and the legislation we go get for come after them, go make sure say we arrange all in there, we go make we able to arrange one whole area we say we go keep bok bok with industry them. Where somebody go come, we go develop and go make sure say electricity day, and go make sure say water day, and go make sure say road and day. We go do all in thing and then we go make we go promote uh, 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 export. We go make them able to get easy access to the raw material then. So once we get them kind zone then day, you go begin to see what thing will happen to this country. And some of the dependence will there we'll get right now on thing that we come oversee. Once we get them special economic zone and we look at them from three areas. One gets a special economic zone where they focus on agro processing because they're one of the strength and now and day. One gets another zone where we focus on light manufacturing. And, 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 and the other thing that one they will go to produce they have 15 the way most times now buy with the go buy and from other country then one do another zone with the focus on mineral beneficiation because all the mineral then will they pull in this country some ten and day we just they took all we sell and give people them we not don't take with time for instance iron the iron ore for say okay more get one factory we go begin extract iron from the ore itself or for instance, bauxite, we will get bakuna the country. For say, we get one factory safe where they extract aluminium from the bauxite in order. So once we get that kind of arrangement then day, you go begin to see, say, we will get investment for that kind of factory then day. And some of the things them way we will need for go buy outside, once we begin extract them from ourselves, we we'll begin manufacture them from ourselves, you go begin to see, say, we're not going to depend too much on waiting what they happen from other country then. Well, you talk about um, good the price, goods the price now one, the quality of the goods now another one. You know, when you go out now the market, especially with people they deal with flour, the bakers and what they do with flour, people deal with cement, their main issue of concern when they can get get for do with substandard goods. You know, the baker man go complain, say the flour we go by, it don't cold and now in the run at loss. Or the person where they deal with cement go talk, say the cement don't cold we go by now this particular uh, uh, um, factory or this sorry this particular company but then now in the run at loss so what thing normally the ministry of trade and industry can do towards that aspect what's some of the mechanisms that we're in place for that particular sector day? well um we get one big big um institution we'll call standards bureau now in suppose for make sure say any goods way they come inside this country or when they produce and meet certain minimum standards um, we notice say that institution and get small challenge them. First of all, they not get all the kind of laboratory them where they need for the check then thing and there. Um, secondly, then get a lot of other challenge them when it comes to manpower and some of the resources we go able to move them. So what we don't plan for do now for see how we go able to go into some kind PPP arrangement with some investors them. We go able to come pour money into the work with standards bureau they do. Help for develop standard and certified laboratories. Them, we go able for able check the quality of them products and where they come from other country. Them and like where the factories and they begin develop. Mostly how then we able to check even the factories and we we'll get in this country the quality of them product. Them, I think say this one now I'm really go able to solve all that problem. But you see what they do in several areas. Certain time then they you go catch somebody in product we come with. You need for able to test them and prove say this product here not good. If you not get any way for test them, you not get any standard laboratory way for test them, then you by law, you not get any way for make you hold that person there. If you hold the person self, we're not gonna court. The court go ask you say, present we team we go we go prove to we say we don't test this person in product, the quality not good. 
If we're not getting kind of standard laboratory in it, no problem. So now that we could uh, try for see how we would encourage investment in the standard and quality infrastructure of this country. Yeah? So once we don't able to build the laboratory and we don't go far with it now, with engagement between we and some of the private sector, then we don't show interest for do this wire plus standards, it don't go far. Two days ago, or a couple of, I think a couple of days ago, Nami I call the guy way there in charge of petroleum business. I say, go, may go try for check whether the petroleum, the pump, the people, the motor car, whether really, really, when it's a one liter, a complete one liter, we we'll catch a number of stations them with default. And we don't try for make sure, say, the law way for they for punish them for waiting and don't do, we apply them. But beyond that, we don't also adjust the, 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 the pump so that the pump will be able to produce exactly what they're supposed to sell the people there. So this is not the thing that we would do. And we get a couple of other um, standards and, and reg regulatory things that we would do. We could get for make this environment here a, a lot more stronger. All these things that we other government and they do now for just give support to Standards Bureau. And the support we give to Standards Bureau, you know, I'm able to move Standards Bureau go any side until you try to make within Standards Bureau they do a kind of business. And the responsibility you give unto somebody, we get that experience for able to set up their laboratories and they do their tests and they honestly, we know we don't make any headway. And that now they try for do, and that now we focus right now. The issue of price control, they go on and on, especially in the aspect of petrol. We see, say, the increase in price of petrol, they go up, up in a couple of months. So, like, when you ask the m common man out there, go tell you, say, price control, not in a salon, and not that, then can normally say. So, what are some of the success stories ever since where you take up office, where you go get for talk, say, not this and this, the ministry, don't they do foresee that? Price control day in place in a salon. If people then say price control not day, no lie. We get price control. And we are administration, they look at price control from two levels. One, we they look at price control at the wholesale level. Then we they look at price control at the retail level. And I want to make you understand one thing. I mean the volatility we don't do in the market. Can they make today sometimes if you go for go ask for this price here, for this commodity here? You didn't notice say the price after one or two days or even one week, the price don't change. The volatility way don't come as a result of the way the freights and the fluctuate and the way, way the commodity price at the global market, they also they fluctuate. Now, in really, really responsible for all everything they be, and some ten and day, but Kuman can just look and say price control all day. And that is not true. We get price control. Maybe waiting then they think about price control for B, where the minister for go and say, no, this price there for B 10,000 power. You know, for move, it will always be 10,000. Where the other variable, where they control the price, eh? then they move. If you say, now nah, that you they do, I don't talk about this. Now, only shortage of them goods in day, now you will get for dinner at the market. We will even be worse than what you they see they happen. So. so the price control there. But the way where people then they look at and say, you for fix the price all the time, eh? if press, if, if press now na, na 10,000 loans, it will be 10,000 loans for, for one year. Under the kind of current circumstances, we'll find ourselves. Under this volatility, we'll find ourselves. Under the situation there where the, 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 the business is so unpredictable, the threats them so unpredictable, then just to go. On, in the second week of August, the way the threats go, the way it shoot up, I was so worried. And sometimes in the way myself can sit down on my own, I check them in the day, and they check them. I don't can give you one clear example. Before COVID, for bring them one container, 20 feet container from China, now about $3,000 naidi pay. I just don't show you an example. In March, where I tried for check, it was $9,000 some hundred dollars. Today, in there about $15,000 some, some hundred dollars. So when you see all anything there, they be, and then people in the talk say, if we do price control, we're in to, to their own thinking, for fix the price, it not possible under them kind of circumstances there. And difficult for we, now a very big challenge, but not to we one game they happen to. And they happen to all other countries. Then. So I think so we too need for do as a country. Now for see, when thing and will be supposed to don't do, we'll not don't do it. Where they make we depend too much on waiting they come up from other country, then we we'll try for reverse that kind of trend. I think so that's the way forward. So finally, waiting go be your word to viewers where really they listen and watch you, especially on waiting then supposed to expect from the Ministry of Trade at the end of 2021-2022. Me, me, they encourage we, we, we fumble them. 
I know say this situation will find itself very, very difficult. But you know, don't badly like Quintana or other country them. You know, don't badly like Quintana, Liberia or in Guinea. I mean, I they tell you this, the flower price in Guinea right now, I mean, something got to go up to 230 or 250, sorry, 330 or 350 uh, uh, Guinea franc. That is so true. And if you take a look at what they happen in na, na, na Liberia with rice, you also they see vegetable oil, the way we don't get them. Because we not only don't get two factory them where they refine palm oil to vegetable oil, we don't also get two big, big companies them where they able to produce their own palm oil in this country. Sockfin and, and uh, uh, gold tree. And the work with them when they, they do, the job almost separate they provide for them people then they, they make you they see say their areas they will say a lot of employment they day and Boku people they able to work and able to make them. So if you see what thing we don't do with vegetable oil and palm oil, I want to believe, say, if we begin to target all the other products, then gradually we will get for find ourselves in a situation where things will look a lot more better for we people them. And all this grumble right there, all this story right there, say, we, the sabotage, I think, say, gradually we will begin to get over. Why I need for sabotage me on people then? Why I need for expose me on Sierra Leone and fellow them to this kind of harsh condition we'll find ourselves. It cannot be me. I get a God hand and Mr. Sisekbe, then think they already come. Mr. Sisekbe, they buy them. The same price with every other person they buy them. Why would I want to do anything we go look like a sabotage? I wouldn't do it. I think, say, a very, very terrible situation we'll find ourselves and more just see how we will get... Viewers, we now have done listening as the Minister of Trade and Industry, Dr. Edward Ingasandi, Dongi in response to the different questions with people they ask about why increase in price for happen Paris, but with local commodities their way with the produce na Saloya, and other commodities they way with the imports from different countries then. He don't give any response here as to why such things they happen, and he also don't assure the people of Sierra Leone say it will work very hard for see that such issues them be tackled. We bring the program to you today. My name is Nakuna Sise. So till we meet again to a new episode of Talk to the Camera. Ta-ta. <laughs>